You definitely got one there. Let's get some. There you go. Oh yeah. All right, he's got one, guys. Looks like a good one, too. Woo! Did he get you? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Grippin' Rippin' Fishing. My name is Trey, and I'm out here at the beach with a buddy of mine, and uh, we are gonna try to catch anything that'll bite this morning. Hopefully get on some whiting. Uh, black drum are running through right now, and I've heard a few people are catching stripers. I've got three surf rods today. Today I also brought a, um, a bait casting rod that I have for uh, throwing swim baits. I just wanna throw some moving baits out here. It's rated up to five ounces and um, I've got some lures that uh, I just wanna throw around out here to see if I can get some stripers. get out there, get casted out, try to cast into these wave breaks. That's where the fish like to run, right between the wave breaks. Threw that one out pretty far. Um, don't always want to do that, but I'm going to put one of them out far and then we'll do the other ones a lot closer. So the other ones right at the wave breaks or right over the back of them. We're gonna put this one pretty pretty daggone short. Put them back in the rod holders and then we wait, guys. So we threw on a spoon uh, just to see what's gonna happen because uh, nothing else is going on right now. So might as well try some things out. See if we can get some stripers that are just randomly running through here. Still on there? He definitely had a bite. His rod tip was going crazy. But we get a lot of horseshoe crab bites out here. Just so you guys know, if you're not familiar, we're from uh, Southern Delaware around the Lewis Rehoboth Beach area. Surf fishing's really awesome around here. Hey, he's got one guys. Is it all whiting? Oh uh, no. What baby trout? That is a trout. <laughs> See? How they're like kind of rainbowish. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's a little guy. It's so soft though. They're so different than like. Oh really? Yeah, they're like. That's probably what's Oh, okay. You want to try this thing? Yeah, I was gonna ask. So, you, do you remember how? Yeah, you push that and that, then hold it. Right? That's the break, yeah. Okay. And if you let it hit the water before you stop it, it all just birds nests. 
it'll the yeah, rail yeah, keeps it'll, spinning. It'll, it, gets, yep. it gets it gets. I have to throw it. I throw it without hitting the button though, right? No, no, no. So you hit the button. Just do it hold, once. So you hit the button and hold it, or else it goes like that. All right. Right, right, right. Right. So hit the button, hold the reel, uh -huh. and then as you cast, you let go, and then catch it right before it hits the water. Catch the actual reel. We just thumb. Okay. And then. Yeah, you can play with it. Left -handed. Oh, you don't you don't do it left-handed? I reel with my right hand. You're a weirdo. Yeah. No, I I'm lefty. But so I so the reason why these reels are like that is because like in the past you were literally casting it out and it just sat and you were cranking it. So everyone did it right-handed. So they just kept making them like that. Yeah. But it doesn't make sense for people like us. We're casting right-handed, right? Yeah. Why should we have to switch hands to real? Well, it's funny because I do cast. It's weird. Like I can cast lefty, but it's the same as golf. I feel like I'm just stronger right-handed. Yeah, yeah. Even though I'm a natural lefty. Oh, I get that. But I'm not a natural. I lefty do get that. Because I write my right hand. I don't know why, but I have always. It's really shallow. I've always reeled left-handed. You almost have to get past that second bridge right now. Because yeah. So that's considered a swim bait rod. It's, uh, I believe it's like seven, eight, and it's rated one to five uh, ounce lures. So. Yeah, you can feel a sandbar. You know, oh yeah, down. I keep thinking it's, I got something. You can feel it start climbing up that hill. Uh, people catch stuff in this, in this shallow water all the time. I don't oh really? Think, I don't think at low tide. But. You'll see like the high tide on the it's a little muddy right now. On clearer days, you'll see dogfish heads like the sharks. They'll swim right on through here looking for a little bait fish. Nice. What are the rules on uh, the sharks and taking them out of the water? I don't know. It's only certain ones. So you can't take in a sandbar. The only ones you'll really catch here are sandbar sharks and, and black fin. You can pull in and keep any dogfish, smooth or spiny. Um, oh yeah, it's right, right where that wave is hitting now. Yep. That pillar, you can feel it. Um, ooh. It's almost like two little bridges out there. Yeah. Don't we want to be between those? Uh -huh. And that's the channel that they run through? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. right where that wave is now is where we might want to that cast. Pretty. Yeah. Well, I actually hit some ground. Put the tension on this, like you can make it... Uh, as, I'm not going to do it. As but. what? So it's less resistance flying out? Yes, so that's what the Stop. break is on the side. So one of them's basically gonna stop it a little bit more when it hits the water, and then the other one is what allows it to come out initially. If you lower the brake, it'll fly off the reel really fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, sometimes you'll bird's nest if the lure's going faster than what the, or slower than the reel is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then the other one, oh, that's another cool thing about that one. It's got like an audible, click for the um I like that. yeah for I the like for the drag yeah I can see why they pass it. and you can stop it on a dime if you need to like if you get too far up. like if you're headed towards a tree you just stick your thumb on it, it stops you have a lot of distance control yeah but I'm much more accurate with a spinning rod because you're so used to it oh yeah yep like me I mean I can put it in a damn I can hit a line drive that yeah <laughs> So my buddy's out here searching for sand fleas and he found some big ones. Hoping to throw this in there and get some drum. He put a nice size one on here, a little piece of fish bite there to keep it on the hook. And I'm gonna take off the rig that I have on and uh, we're gonna throw that on there. Toss this one out there. I don't think we're gonna go too far with this one. And this one's the one with the sand fleas. Let's see if we get a little bit of action on this bad boy. Ah, oh, it's a good spot too. Alright, don't do that. See, so they just hold on to it. That's usually, that's how you know. It's like real heavy, and all of a sudden it snaps. Oh, it was stupid heavy. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't like, I know these things probably can hurt you, but I don't fucking like them. They freak me out. They look like a uh, space creature. Well, I know they claw. I mean, people say they can't hurt you, but... Yeah. Yeah, it's tossing over there. Alright, we need a little humpback. Yeah. 
All right, he's got one, guys. Looks like a good one, too. Is it gone? Ah. Yeah. Uh, they must be eating soft today. Huh? They must be eating pretty soft today. Oh, you actually caught one. <laughs> Another little trout. Blood worm. I'm, I doubled up on the same bait on each pole now. Good. Okay. Guess you're catching fish. Yeah. Run, run, run. So you've I just passed that little white. So you've I caught them both shallow. Okay. But he's little. That's the problem. Hey, where there's hey, they jump around a little bit. Where there's little ones though, there might be big ones. Yeah, I know. That was like big. Nah, that's a little deep. <laughs> I was gonna say that was a good cast. Dude, this rod's Well, I think I hooked into another horseshoe crab because this is dead weight again. They must be just sitting out there where I'm throwing it. These things are annoying. But I'm not getting any head shakes or anything. I don't know, we'll see. Yep, it just surfaced out there. Definitely another horseshoe crab. Those curly tails. Don't want to snap the lines. I'm just letting them ride the waves. I think I got two of them again. All right, well, let me grab some pliers. All right, my buddy's coming over here with a pair of gloves and some pliers, so we're gonna get them off. Are you sure you took the last two off? <laughs> it's the same two. Here, let me. He's actually holding on, see it? These little things are annoying. Okay. Woo! Did he get you? No, yeah, that's why I didn't go. <laughs> we arrived. All right. I need to check the line. Well, my buddy had to leave, so I'm gonna break this down. I'm gonna head in town. I've got my swim bait rod, so I'm gonna see if I can get on some big bass over there by the bridge. Well, I'm telling you, I have a video coming out where I took my son fishing for the first time, and I had to have seen four or five bass that were over five pounds just swimming around under that bridge. So what better to throw than a large swim bait? So we're gonna head in town to see if we can catch one of those big girls. Got a couple minutes. They get a big bite, big bite.
Come on, big fish. Had one, guys. Oh, the ball, 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 the ball,